Hello everyone, welcome to the channel again. My name is Orlando and as always, I'm gonna get you into your first rental property. In today's video, we're talking about can you get into real estate with bad credit? And we're gonna be talking about FHA loans and how they're beneficial to you if you have bad credit. So let's jump right into it. What are the pros and cons to getting an FHA loan with bad credit? So before we start this, we're going to talk about what is bad credit? Because a lot of times the vision and view gets skewed of individuals not knowing what bad credit is. So as you see here on the chart here, we have bad credit at 300 to 600, and then we have poor credit at 600 to 649. So we're gonna focus on these two particular areas, which are the poor credit and the bad credit. So that's what we, are gonna define as bad and poor credit, or bad credit. So let's jump right into it. How are FHA loans good for individuals who have bad credit? Let's start with the first good thing about FHA loans. They are flexible, guys. This loan product, especially if you're using it to buy an investment property, remember, stay in for one year and then exit the property and turn it into a rental property. That's the goal that we're going after. This loan program allows you to get into your properties. Having a credit score as low as 580, guys. That is amazing, guys, because this program allows you to get into your first rental property when you have bad credit. We don't wanna advocate that you have bad credit because even though this program is flexible, it does have some caveats that if you have bad credit, you have to explain the reasons why. Why? And they just can't be reasons based on I didn't want to pay the creditor and that's the reason why my credit is bad. You have to have valid reasons and have to do letters of explanation. So please remember that. So pro number two on this is that the down payment is low. We have a 3.5% down payment for FHA loan, guys. You can't beat that, especially if you're trying to buy a duplex are a triplex, are a fourplex, like this is the program for you. But once again, we are not encouraging you to have bad credit. Even though you can get in with the 580 credit score, I love to tell individuals, try to get your credit at least up to a 620, then it becomes smooth sailing from there. And then third, the other good thing about this program is the DTI is a little bit higher than your normal. And what does that mean? That means to debt to income ratio. That means how much debt do you have on your credit report versus how much income you bring in from your job. And this income with the property can be almost up to 51%. Now that's maxing it out, guys. That's maxing it out. But what we're saying is, is that normally with a conventional loan, it's a lot lower, which means you will qualify for a lot lower loan amount, less of a house. Instead of qualifying for a $200,000 house, you would probably qualify for uh, you know, a $125,000 house with a conventional loan. So the DTI of that five to 6%, it does help guys. So once again, these are really good things. As far as the cons, there really isn't that many cons other than there's one con here and that you're going to have to pay PMI when it comes to this. Now you would have to pay PMI on this regardless if you were turning this into a rental property are just a property that you were going to live in as your primary. Either way, you would have to pay this. And now the rules have changed with FHA that you will basically have to have PMI permanently until you refinance the loan and you have equity of 20% in the property. So that's that. You can't really get past that. That is a con, but to be honest, to get into your first property with 3.5%, paying a PMI is not really a big deal. But once again, guys, hope you got value out of this video. And I need you to watch this next video to continue on your education, getting you into your first rental property. And I'll see you on the next one. Thanks.